Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make and fit a cover for a Vanworks buddy seat. Let's get started. When you buy the buddy seat, you buy the foam, the board, and also the buddy seat frame. So first, you can measure the seat. So it's 15 inches. So find centre, seven and a half, seven and a half. So now I need to work out how big I'm going to make this centre panel. So 10 inches will be fine with this. So I have a 10 inch centre and then white on the outside. Sixteen and three eighths. That's sixteen and three eighths plus a seam allowance on the front plus the thickness of the foam and the board. So this distance here. So that is two inches plus an inch around the board. So plus an inch. So that's what I'm going to cut the centre panel at. 19 and 7 eighths by 10 and 3 quarters. So I'll do that right now. So our measurement was 10 and 3 quarters. Square off the end. 19 and 7 eighths. measurement on this is going to be three and three eighths. Three and three eighths. I'm going to use the measurement on the board to cut the two pieces, the two side pieces. I'm going to put a seam allowance measurement on here. My seam allowance three inches, which is my turn point. I want to use that line to mark up there and there. So that's my turn, that's my board. It's missing its seam allowance. So I'll mark the seam allowance right here. And then draw a seam allowance in on the curve. So this is our pieces. We have our two sides, our border, centre panel and piping. Now I need to back these with foam, so two sides and the centre panel. The centre panel is going to have 6mm scrim foam glued to the back and these two outers are going to have 3mm scrim foam attached to the back. Just going to spray the scissors with some silicon spray, it just stops the glue from sticking to the scissors. I'm going to mark the stitch lines. So. Two and three eighths, four, four and three eighths, six and three eighths, and eight and three eighths. Those are the lines that I'm going to sew down. Centre panel done. So now I need to attach the two ends. So the piping on to the cover now, 
What I do first I need to remove a little bit of the cold. It just gets rid of some bulk. It's not actually needed. And I'm gonna sew, see the match mark? I'm just gonna put the pipe in just past the match mark. Sew it on at that point. When I get to the curve, I'm just going to snip the pipe in. This helps it ease around the corner. both these seams have been turned the same way so they've both been turned outwards so they actually match again snip the cord Now to sew the border. I'm not going to sew this part yet. I'll show you why when I get round to the other side. Start where the match mark is. Again, just snip a little bit to ease the border around the corner. At that point I'm going to leave the needle in and snip to the needle just on this bit of fabric, not on the piping. Turn the border, the piping will come with it, go to the corner, as you can see there. snip off that corner there. So as you can see the piping is now inside this seam. If I'd left the piping cord in this seam here would be very bulky. So that's why I cut the piping cord out of the out of the piping. Snip that. This over from corner to corner again. If you have a lot of bulk with the cord in at this point, the foot sometimes struggles to get over it even with a machine like this. So that's the cover made. Check the seams. Now that the cover's been made, what I need to do next is to glue the board to the foam. This stops the foam from moving around when you attach the cover. But before I do that, what I need to do is to put some breather holes into the board itself. It's just a couple of holes that are drilled into the bottom of the board. 
Alternatively, if you're not on a board and you've got a non-breathable fabric, then use cushion vents. These are just a two-part male and female thing. So you've got a, a male and a female. So the male part goes into the cover, so you put a hole in the cover and then that gets inserted from the outside of the cover and the female goes onto the back. It just gets pushed, fitted on. I'm going to ease the cover onto it. don't put the line on then when you staple it you've got a chance of the edge of the cover being wobbly along the end. So as always I've started on the on the corners and then in the middle Because this seat actually hinges and there's a chance that you see the bottom of the seat, I don't want the board to be shown. So I'm going to cover the board with a breathable base cloth. So this is just a breathable base cloth, it's full of holes. Um, I don't know whether you can see that. Roughly to size. And the frame on this fits on the bottom like that. So as you can see here, the staples are visible. See from the sides, the staples are visible. So when I staple the base cloth on, I want to hide the staples and hide the staples that are stapling the base cloth on. So the staple line has to be underneath the framework. the staples are covered. There you go, staples are completely covered up. Works buddy seat.